Now that our Nava is complete, we're going to go ahead and create the footer. So I'm going to remove the H1 that we had previously created. And inside the includes folder, we're going to go ahead and create a new file called footer.html. We are then going to create a new folder within static and we will call this icons. So for our footer, I want to add social media icons. So I'm going to use a library called UX Wing. It's completely free and their licensing is very, very good. Um, you can redistribute it in production grade applications. There is no attributions. The only thing that you can't do with it is you can't obviously package up their icons and try and sell them. All of their licensing is available on their website that you can go have ahead and have a look and see if anything changed, but um, I don't believe there's anything changed since the last time I looked. So the first icon I want to get is the GitHub icon. So I'm going to save that down as an SVG format. I'm then going to go and look for the Instagram icon. I'm going to take the nice colourful one. I just want a little bit of colour on the web page. And the next icon that we need is the LinkedIn icon. Again, I'm going to take the one with the nice round edges. And the next is going to be the Twitter one again most of the ones I'm going to take have the nice rounded edges and the final one that we want is the YouTube icon. We'll then switch back to our project. We're going to go ahead and make an anchor tag with a href which you can fill in with the link to your various social medias. We're going to give it a target of blank because it's navigating away from our website so we want to open it in a new tab. We will give it a rel of no opener and last but not least we will give it an ARIA label. So the reason we want to give it an ARIA label is because users of assistive technology such as screen readers need to know, you know that it's going to open in a new tab or it can become quite confusing. So we will say LinkedIn opens in a new tab and we'll go ahead and close the anchor. Now within the anchor we will create an image, we will give it a source attribute, so again using our static keyword pointing to our icons folder, we're going to load the LinkedIn app icon.svg and close off that image. So again, because this is an image, we want to give an alt tag on it so that it's read to users of assistive technology. And of course, that if the image doesn't load, that will be shown. We will give all of our icons a class of social icon so that we can style them all in one go. So obviously if you gave them different um, classes then we would have to keep making the same repetitive rules. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in the remainder of those so if you want to pause the video and do the other four you can do that now. Now that we have all of our links in we will go ahead to the base template and include the folder in. So normal curly brackets percentage with our include keyword and we will give it the path of includes and our footer.html. So we'll open up the live site, give it a refresh and we should see our icons. Perfect. So we'll go ahead now and add some styling to the footer. So inside our base.css we'll go up to the footer section and we will start our styling. So I'm going to give it a background colour of our off-white, so we'll use the var keyword and give it the off-white. We're going to set it as display flex 
and then we're going to give it a flex direction of row as we want it to go across the page. We're going to justify the content to the centre, we're going to align the item centre and then we're going to give it a border top. So we're going to use our border variable. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to target our social icon class and we're going to give it a height of 2 REM and a margin of 1 REM. So we'll go ahead and open up the live site and give it a little refresh and there we have it, our footer. So the last piece of the puzzle now is to add the main tag. So we'll go back to our code. So earlier on we added a piece of CSS to target the main, but we don't actually have one yet. So we'll go ahead into our base and we will create a main tag. So within this main tag, we're going to have another set of block tags, which we will call content. So the reason for wrapping it inside is that when we extend our base and we're using it on another page, when we use the block content tag, it will render all of our content between those tags, which means all of our pages will automatically have that main tag applied to them. So it will save us again from needing to write um, redundant code later on. So if we switch that back to the main website and give it a refresh, our footer will now be at the bottom of the page. So that is wrapping up our base template. We now have everything that we need to get started with the actual pages. So next up, we're going to do the authorization, so the login, logout, and registration pages.